Okay, it is another day, another time, another business, new way of life, new idea. Welcome to Assam, that is Academy of Science and Arts of Money. And today we are going to look a concise introduction to financial markets, whereby concise introduction means a very specific, a brief introduction to financial markets whereby financial markets include the forex, commodities, cryptocurrencies, stocks, etc. I'm YLIS, that is Y-L-E-Z, I'm the writer and I'm the presenter from Asam. Unachetakiwa ni kusubscribe, utasubscribe kwa kubonyeza alama ya subscribe, kisha alama ya kengele ni yoko pembeni. Kibonyeza yu alama ya kengele itakui na kusaidia wewe kupata tarifa pale ambapo tunakua tunaposti video nyingine kusiana na presentation zetu. Kwa hivyo ilu we wakwanza bonyeza yu alama ya kengele. Lakini pia ukisubscribe unazuka like hivyo kama unakuwa umeipenda alafu kaweka na comment yako kuhusiana na nini ambacho umeikiona kama unakuwa na swali au una ushauri wowote unaweza kuweka hapo unaweza kushare hii video ili iweze kumfikia na mwenzako ambaye bado hajaweza kuitazama lakini unaamini kwamba itaweza kuja kumsaidia and basically my presentation will be in two languages i'll be reading it as written in English and then translating it um, in Swahili. Therefore, everyone may understand. Uh, maybe if you understand English, you can understand it. And if you understand uh, Swahili, you'll understand it. But if you understand both languages, you'll be having multiple advantages. Okay, let's go. Now, financial markets. Financial markets is the broad term describing any marketplace where buyers and sellers participate in the trade of assets such as equities, bonds, currencies, and derivatives. Kwa hiyo, tunavongila the financial markets market, tunangalia masoko ya kifedha, ambapo ni just a place where kuna nisema ambapo kuna kwa kuna watu wananunua na wengine wana kwa wanauza, au wananunua na kuuza, abitha mbali mbali. Therefore, financial markets can be found in nearly every nation in the world. Some are very small with only few participants while the other, like the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, and the Forex market trade trillions of dollars daily. While your financial markets is called almost in my new york, it's not almost in inches zote duniani. Na nyingine zinazazikawa ni ndogo na zikiwa zinausisha watu wachache au participants wachache lakini nyingine zinakuwa ni kubwa zile kubwa mfano mzuri it is the New York uh, Stock Exchange lakini uh, nyingine ambayo ni ya kawaida ambayo unategemea kila mmoja aweze kuja ku participate it's the forex market uh, whereby always they trade trillions of dollars daily now let us see five types of financial markets there are various types of financial markets but here we are going to look one um, type in detail and this is what we call the forex kwa ziko aina nyingi za masoko ya kifedha lakini hapa tutajaribu kuangalia aina moja ya soko la kifedha ambayo inaitwa forex therefore uh, ukiachana na kuangalia forex in detail lakini tunaweza tukaona aina zingine ambazo zinazoeleka the most common types of financial markets therefore the common types are tunaanza na forex yenyewe ambapo forex ina maana ya foreign exchange uh, market sometimes known as the fx whereby this include all currencies so katika forex um, what is important is ni kwamba katika forex mtu unakuwa unanunua na kuuza fedha ambapo inakuwa ni very easy kwamba unapona uh, uthamani wa fedha fulani unakuwa umeshuka basi we pale ndipo utakapokuwa unanunua ili uthamani wake ukipanda uanze kuiuza kwa utakapokuwa unafanya alteration ya kuuza na ya kununua ikiwa uthamani umeshuka na kuuza uthamani uko umepanda hapo hapo ndipo utakapokuwa unaongeza kipato chako then the second type um, of financial market is commodities markets like the CFDs or the contract for difference um, whereby this include the gold and uh, gold and silver kwa hiyo kuna gold silver like in sometimes uh, there is oil or these are what we call the commodity commodities markets another thing is the cryptocurrency market which include the bitcoin and the uh, the altcoins 
and the last type katika zile common types au katika aina ambazo zimezoeleka is the capital markets like the stock and bonds ambapo mtu anakuwa na anakuwa na play part kwenye certain uh, kwenye certain uh, asset ambapo uh, inapotokea that inakuwa ina get profit that asset maana kile yeye mwenyewe anakuwa na benefit that so then let us see the forex ambapo ndo the starting point uh, ya yeah, this discussion where by the forex market is the market where currencies are trading ko always uh, katika forex ni sehemu ambapo kunafanyika biashara ya uh, biashara ya fedha ambapo katika hiyo biashara maana yake kunakuwa kuna kuuza na kununua uh, uh, pesa toko tofauti therefore it is the largest most liquid market in the world with an average trading value that exceed a uh, 1.9 trillion US dollars per day ko always na it is the largest this is the largest kwa maana kwamba uh, tukiangalia the total amount of current i mean uh, current sambaini ska trading per day maana kila kuna msunguko mkubwa wa fedha kwa siku au kwa mwaka lakini na usema it is um, a liquid market hii ni kutokana na kwamba participants watu wao participate in this kind of market wanakuwa ni wengi that's why call it as a liquid a liquid market so at the end of the day you can find that mtu anaweza ka participate to this kind of market and this kind of an individual person mtu mmoja lakini sometimes it can be a corporation kwamba labda or an organization in any way around na ka participate in this uh, forex market then trading place or area to where you can trade uh, where you can take this kind of trade uh, therefore there is no central market place for the currency exchange instead trade is conducted over the counter or against uh, it is something like that hakuna sehemu ambayo kasema kwamba we can meet to do this kind of trade there is no such area instead uh, the trade is done in the space you can say kwa binafanyika tu in space and what is important is Ah uh, kuna kwa tu kuna access ya wewe to the market you can access the market uh, kupitia devices tofauti and it is just due to internet ndio ambayo imewezesha kwamba uh, you can access the market anywhere uh, mahali popote unapokuwa upo unaweza access market yoyote ambayo inaendelea sehemu nyingine about those currencies therefore now the forex market is open 24 hours a day and it is 5 days a week kwa maana kuna saa 24 you can do this straight lakini pia unafanya katika siku tano katika wiki that is monday to friday now currencies traded uh, currencies are traded worldwide among the major financial centers um, kwa hiyo maana yake unapofanya this kind of trade una uwezo kawa mahala popote duniani lakini ukawa unafanya biashara ambayo iko katika kituo fulani kilichokuwa located same fulani katika dunia now maybe we have the major centers that is the london Uh, which is known as the European and also have the New York that is American and the Tokyo that is the Asian and these are the major centers of this kind of business lakini pia we have other or the minor centers that is the Zurich the Frankfurt the Hong Kong the Singapore Singapore Paris and the Sydney and always all these kind of all these kind of centers they open at different times or at different periods and those are what to call the sessions so kipindi ambacho one market na open uh, na mpaka pale inapokuja ku close is what we call the sessions so at the end of the day we will be having the London session or the European session the New York session and um, or we call it the American session or something like that kwa maana yake au unasema European session maana yake major center it is London uh, unaposema uh, the American session the major center for this kind of business is New York and the Asian maana yake the major center it is Tokyo it is something like that therefore we have those sessions so in short you can see uh, those sessions and how they open and when they open and close ni wakati gani zinafunguka na kufungwa now the time in which the market can open and close can be provided in uh, different ways but the most common is the GMT and the S uh, and what we call the Eastern Standard Time the EST now the GMT that is the Greenwich Mean Time Uh, it's the time uh, bio uh, was called provided the proper marketing are open this time GMT manake coming to open the certain time GMT lazima ujue to your local time inatakiwa ku add or unaweza minus um, several hours for so, funnel they from the GMT to my local time always inatakiwa ni add 3 hours from the GMT 
Kwa mfano na sessions ziko kwa mtindo kama mfano this is the London opens at the 8 o'clock up to uh, 16 o'clock and always you can find the New York session open at the 13 o'clock up to uh, it goes up to 21 o'clock Kwa you can find that uh, sometimes one market or one session open uh, na nyingine pili na open while moja ikiwa bado iko open kwa hiyo hapa nasema zinakuwa zime overlap those sessions zina zinakuwa zime overlap kwa what is important is if the time opens at this 8.00 therefore to my local time nitaongeza 3 hours kwa now to my local time manaki takuwa uh, it is 11.00 kwa 11.00 to my local time it will be 8.00 uh, to GMT kwa London market and other markets will be the same like in sometimes you can have in Eastern Standard Time, we have an Eastern Standard Time, the Eastern Standard Time which is five hours behind the GMT. Ko kama nina add three hours from the GMT, ko now from the Eastern Standard Time I have to add eight hours. So it's something like that. Simple calculations. Ko now skapewa the Eastern Standard Time ko tabilu on get say eight hours, but it is to my local time, that is East Africa time that is Tanzania and we have this thing like in other countries in are different that is uh, all about the, what's called the sessions like in here we are very short very brief very concise in to study in detail to see another sessions and another thing let us see the participants of the market always who are the participants of the market Therefore, until recent forex market, um, in the current market had large been the domain of large financial institutions, uh, corporations, central bank hedges, funds, and extremely wealthy individuals. Kwa hiyo leza kutokia kwa mba mpaka kipindi cha kanibuni waloku wana participate ni wale watu ambao uh, walikuwa na uwezo mkubu wa house na zazikawa ni organizations ni uwezo mkubu na kubigine uh, kwenye forex market. That's why mpaka watu wengi maybe they don't know what is forex and how they can benefit from it. Kwa sababu hiyo nekana ni kitu macho wana uweza kufanya ni watu wa level of land. But now things have changed and it is due to internet things have changed. Anyone can do this kind of business and it is not only due to internet it is also due to brokerage account uh, now umekuwa na brokers ni watu ambao wewe unaweza yeye anakuwa in between kwamba between wewe and between the market kwa wewe utakunafanya uh, that business of, by the aid of the uh, the broker kwa yeye anakuwa na link pale and what does it mean ni kwamba wewe utakuwa na uwezo ku deposit small amounts lakini ukafanya a large business it is due to brokers that is all lakini vitu ambavyo tutaenda kuangalia in detail as time goes but this was the precise introduction or the concise intro, introduction now that is all and what all i have been provided here ni information sambazo zitakusaidia kukupa awareness it doesn't mean that ndo hivyo ambavyo everything goes apparently uh, in other ways let's go hivyo au ikawa kwa namna nyingine lakini those informations they are just for reference ni vitu ambavyo una uweza kuvitumia kama reference lakini at the end of the day you have to develop your own thing ambayo itakufanya uweze kuingia kwenye trade now let us see the disclaimer the precaution trading for any exchange may not be suitable for all investors kwamba biashara ya kubadili fedha haiwezi kumfaa kila mmoja unique experiences and past performance do not guarantee the future results kwamba inatokea mtu anawezekana ujuzi fulani wa kipekee lakini pia kulingana na ufanyaji kazi nzuri labda wa njia fulani namna ya kutengeneza pesa inawezekana kipindi cha nyuma ilikuwa inafanya vizuri lakini haiwezi kukupa uhakika wa kwamba pia hata kwa wakati ujao itafanya the same therefore strategies provided here can be used as examples of how to develop your trading system therefore test and evaluate them you are so kwa oh, hiki ambacho umeweza kupewa hapa kitumike tu kama mfano kitumike kama njia ya kukudirect wewe kuweza ku develop kutengeneza kitu cha kwako ambacho unaweza kuingia nacho sokoni now the high degree of leverage can work for you as well as uh, against you kwa hiyo tunaongelea the issues of brokers lakini ya yeah, this relates to the issue of uh, leverage ndio pale ambapo una deposit kidogo lakini unafanya business kubwa kupitia leverage Kwa so now this leverage always is ka work um, uh, katika direction yako manake ukiwa kwenye profit itakusaidia unapata profit zaidi lakini pia kinyume chako ukiwa kwenye loss manake utapata loss zaidi kwa so that is all about leverage lakini ndio usikaje kusoma in detail what is leverage na kitu kingine as time goes all of those things will be discussed therefore you should not invest money 
that you cannot afford to lose. Kwa now you have to invest amount of money ambayo wewe unawekeza kiasi cha pesa ambacho unaamini kwamba hiki ina uwezo wa kukipoteza au usiweke katika kiasi ambacho unahisi kwamba uwezi kukipoteza otherwise kama unahitaji kufanya this kind of business you have to look for the advice to an independent financial advisor if you have been that uh, kwa hiyo kama unahisi kuna wasiwasi fulani unaweza kuhitaji ushauri kutoka kwa mtu ambaye tayari anajitegemea ana uwezo wa kufanya hii business kwa kujitegemea kwa anaweza kukupa ushauri kwamba ufanye kitu cha namna gani kuhusiana na hii business that is the disclaimer that is all now okay thank you and you are welcome at awesome that is academy of science and arts of money and always we are available on youtube then we are available on instagram you can follow us at tz or the awesome underscore tz but what is it unachotakiwa ni kusubscribe uta subscribe kwa kubonyeza alama ya subscribe kisha alama ya kengele ni yoko pembeni kibonyeza hiyo alama ya kengele itakuwa inakusaidia wewe kupata taarifa pale ambapo tunakuwa tuna post video nyingine kuhusiana na presentation zetu kwa hivyo ili wewe wa kwanza bonyeza hiyo alama ya kengele lakini pia ukisubscribe unaweza ka like hii video kama unakuwa umeipenda alafu kaweka na comment yako kuhusiana na nini ambacho umekiona kama unakuwa na swali au una ushauri wowote unaweza kaweka hapo unaweza ka share hii video ili iweze kumfikia na zako ambaye bado hajaweza kuitazama lakini unaamini kwamba itaweza kuja kumsaidia